This is the Prince of Miguasha, the fossilized fish that allowed paleontologists to understand how the evolution from fish to amphibian took place 370 million years ago in the Devonian period when there were no amphibians, no reptiles or mammals, the transition from water to land occurred. And every stage of that remarkable development can be found here. Omiguasha has been known since 1842. And it's a paleo ecosystem that has been preserved. We have the fish, we have the fern, we have the invertebrate, we have scorpions, we have water scorpions, we have traces of worms. So the whole ecosystem is buried in Miguasha. And it's only eight kilometers long. That one? <laughs> it's a small one, but it's a real one. Miguasha is known throughout the world, really, because of a very important fish. We call it the Prince of Miguasha, because it's, it's the fish that allowed the uh, paleontologists to understand and comprehend this important event, which led eventually to mammals and the evolution of man. And it's really funny that uh, a, a small uh, embryo of man, about three weeks, will have something very, very similar to the one of the fish that we have here in Miguasha. There are some fossils uh, somewhere else in the world, but the, the, the rock that we see here in Miguasha is fantastic because everything is here. And it's only eight kilometers long. And in those eight kilometers, we find the, we understand, we comprehend how a fish evolved into a tetrapod. Up to now, the, the first tetrapod that have walked on the earth is known from Greenland. Of course, we want it to be in Miguasha, so we're still looking for an animal with a five-finger hand or even six finger. I wouldn't mind the sixth one, but it has to have legs. <laughs> Walking on land. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.